Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. Uh, so the rod is pretty much done for the epoxy side of things. Um, I've just got to glue the butt cap on. Um, and I'll do that now. Just going to mix up some of the uh, pro paste for the butt cap. And once that's dry, I'll um, I'll glue the tip on. But yeah, turned out pretty good. We'll see how it goes in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'll probably, we're going out fishing tomorrow. If the wind plays nice, it was supposed to be calm as this morning and it was all geared up to head out this morning but um but yeah the wind came in pretty hectic uh, I just checked the windy app right before I was about to leave and um yeah it turned pretty quick so Kel's got tomorrow off so we'll give it a crack then try and duck out to the channel markers maybe and um and see how we go there yeah I'll um take this out of the dryer Glue this on. Sweet. Let that set for a day or so. Yeah, nice. And there it is, all finished. I'll uh, give it a crack tomorrow. See if it um, see if it works. Wind's looking pretty good for tomorrow morning, so we'll um, we'll head out about seven o'clock. See if we can. Um, See if we can catch the feed. Uh, this morning we're going to make the most of a little window of good weather, hopefully. And uh, it's Kel's first day off in a few, um, well, probably over a week. But um, the wind's supposed to be pretty good this morning. So yeah, just going to get the boat sorted and um, and head out to the channel markers see what we can do and uh, as soon as this wind picks up we'll have to come in Just make some cappers coming so um yeah we'll get out of the way and uh head up to the marker before someone else does. Uh, 
we're just pulling up to the marker. I'm just going to see if there's anything hanging around before this big ship comes in. Uh, there's a few fish hanging around it. That's what we got going on there. Rope stuck around the ladder? Yeah, some people tie up to them, which is highly illegal. We've got a ship. It's a fair way away. Yeah, we'll get out of the ship's way when it gets here. But anyway, I'll just neutral that. Get ready and drop. Ten meters. Yep. <laughs> Going through them now. Yeah, there. yeah, there you guys. Yeah. Spinning the auto flag or nice one. Oh, you might be all right. Oh, God. Sweet. <laughs> He's in. He's in. Boom, Hands on the board. There we go. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah. Nothing big. Oh. Hey. Cold trout. Cold trout. Oh. Kills on. Kills on. Baldy again. <laughs> oh yeah. No, oh. You're out, you're out, you're out, you're out. I think you might have uh, snagged me too. Oh, I got you as well. That's alright, bring him up, bring him up. Another flag, but he's not big enough. Hey. Nice. Fuck. <laughs> Little flag. Uh, Tangles are us. Good one, dead. Oh, yawn. Oh, yeah, Fuck. I was literally as I was just pulling it up. Kills on. Oh, flag. Yeah, we only got that one flag straight up. Uh, other than that, we just got little bits and pieces and then pretty much just shut off. So, uh, right when it was um, supposed to be premium uh, bite time on all the almanacs. So that theory is pretty much bullshit. <laughs>
I try and do that so much, just try and thought, oh yeah, you know, if the wind's right and try and time the um the almanac and that, give me my best chances. Sometimes it works, it's like a 50-50, it's not a definite thing. I should definitely just go back to my old tried and true um, theory, is just if the weather's good and you've got time, just go out and see what you can do. But anyway, we've got a couple of lures, we're just going to have a trawl, I think. Um, maybe go out to the next channel marker or so and um, have a bit of a look up there and crawl along the channel, get out of the way of these ships and um, there was some birds busting up over about uh, half a k away but they seem to have fizzled out a little bit. So anyway, we'll, um, we'll have a look around, throw some lures around, see what happens. Wait for this ship to pass. and then um, do a yui and come back down through the middle of the channel. One hit uh, almost straight away, and that was it. Anyway, no. can't win them all, eh? No. Uh, we'll head in. Uh, I fitted a couple new additions to the boat. I've got a railblazer um, little organizer thing for bits and bobs and lures and shit because the pliers are always just flinging around everywhere yeah the rods are always um, the rods you don't use are always just sort of laying here or they take up another rod holder so they were off um, uh, railblazer the same as I got the side rod holders and stuff seems like pretty good gear um, yeah see how it goes just got a couple of packets of Spanish flag one we caught um, yesterday and this is a Spango that I'd um, filled it up but never vacuum sealed it so that's been sitting on the bottom of the um, angle I'll clean all that up chop all that up and then make some fish cakes so first up just gonna chop up the spuds uh, something like that So now the fish is all cut up. Uh, I'm just going to lightly um, cook that in a pan with a bit of oil. Spuds are just boiling away there. Buds are done. Bit of 
Primeiro meu. Preparar. Thomas and Cheese. We don't own a masher, so um, fork it is. Don't have to get too pretty with it. Kelly's actually working today, it's Sunday, so I better uh, prep her a drink. When she gets home, in about 10 minutes. Fish is done. Turn that off. Breadcrumbs are ready. Just added a couple of eggs in there just to help bind it all up, make it not too dry. Just gonna break up the fish a little bit. It already smells good just with a bit of um, lemon pepper and oil. Dump all that into there. Mmm, cheesy. Bomb. It's a shit ton of it's gonna be a lot of fish cakes. Yeah, it's just a case of Mixing it all in. It's pretty fucking hot actually. Ow! Too hot. Alright, don't use your hands after you've just cooked it. It's pretty hot. Hello. Kelly's home. Hello. Yay! Ooh, hello. Oh, look at this service. I shouldn't be surprised because it's a regular. Come home to. Here a keeper. Good day at work. It is now. <laughs> Got going on here. Um, fish cakes. Mm. Made shit tons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm pretty hungry. Hopefully. <laughs> it's like fish and chips all in one um, patty. Right. Pretty good. Now it's just a case of uh, making a mess, pretty much. Consistency is pretty good. Make them into resale size. One of the best fish cakes you can make is um, using your old frames from say like demersals or whatever after you fillet them you just uh, bake up the frame in your barbecue or whatever strip all the meat off it on a fork do the same thing then you don't waste anything you'd be surprised on a um, 10 kilo dewey or something like that how much meat you get out of the um, out of the head Or even just out of the backbone and everything. Don't know if you can hear the, um, a bit of a uh, folk singer in the caravan park today. Seems to be a bit of a um, common thing. They get a, uh, if you've got a bit of musical talent, you can get um, some free accommodation or whatever. Seems like a pretty good little gig. There you go. Uh, Spangled Emperor and Spanish flag fish cakes. Spango, up market. Yeah, there Thanks. you go. No worries. Thank you. Enjoy. I will. Yep. <laughs>